come with a word that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I say any good highway is the Jesus way. And I thank God we reached Nsuka exactly 10.30 in the morning. That was Wednesday. I said we are going back for fellowship. On our way, coming back around Okigwe, the vehicle, the driver said, one of the elders in this place that took us to that journey, he said this, the brake have failed. That, and look at a tipper in front of us. I said, Don't, no problem. I just said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The vehicle stopped on his own. I want to return glory to God. When our brother, the director of the choir, had his wedding, that day God gave us a miracle. The miracle is that I saw someone and I said, I know this man. I told one of my men, make sure you escort him. Let Austin give him a place to sit. At the end of that wedding, the man said, I will pay the school fees of your daughter from year one to the last year of her place in this room. That is what God can do. Because I remembered when my son wanted to enter secondary school, I was asking myself, how will I pay the school fees of this young man? Recently, he just told me, Daddy, I am graduating this year. He is in media. I want to thank God of this commission for this favor. I will not give details of what God has done on, on Sunday in our prayer band. I will give details. My family members, God has honored us. We have now about eight people in the United States of America. Not they are relying to anybody but God of this commission. One of us had a challenge. I told him, because you disobeyed my wife when you came for your service, you will return here and come for fellowship before you will travel. And he obeyed and came from Portacourt and came and stayed again. Three months. After three months, I gave him transport. I have tried UK. And he tried UK. And they gave him admission. And to God be the glory. From UK, they also gave him visa to USA for five years. I want to say to this God, who has done these great and mighty things for us. And I want to thank the evangelism units of this commission. They assisted me to go into my organization last year to carry uh, evangelism in the mobile base and in, in our couple. And I want to say, God, who has done all this, may his name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A clap offering unto the Lord. If you want to move from level 4 to level 16, give God a shout. If you want to move from barrack boy to a renter, apartment person, to a house owner, give God a shout. If you want God to pay your fees and also give you scholarship, shout hallelujah. We are serving a great God. He will never fail. You are the next to give testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to call our sister evangelist Ruth Odo to come and give her testimony. Evangelist Ruth Odo. Uh, it's not available. What a pro Christian Nelson. One elastic minute. You know Praise the other the one Lord. is an officer. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I promise to testify to the glory of God this day. I want to thank God for what God has done for me during Miracle Convention. It was after that convention that the first preacher preached about joke of bondage. After the convention. 
Monday morning, I had a dream. I saw myself in a pit. It was like a circle, somehow pit. But a song was ministered to me. Show me again by song. Take me out of the old land. I saw myself stepping out of that pit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And I want to thank God again. When God has me to go and start a ministry, I have never been made an elder. He didn't know Bible school. I did not know what to do. But year to 2021, I saw a man in my dream wearing white. He said to me, what has been holding you? It wasn't easy, but I hid the voice of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The miracle. When, I, when we, we started the ministry, a lot of problems. Everything rises rise against us. But I want to thank God nobody's dead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God has been saving us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to add this. During that miracle convention, on Monday, while I'm giving these testimonies that I was punished, on Monday, I hear a voice calling me, said to me, Omar is calling you. I did not know what to do. I was confused. I said within myself, is it because my church does not contribute? I went to the treasurer. I collected all the money. I gave him 1,000 to use 500 and pay to join us for the convention. I took the other money. I came and dropped the money. You know, when I dropped the money, the next morning, a voice said to me, not the ministry, but you, you, you. Ah, ah, what have I done? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know, after Sunday, in my dream, I saw a pub. I saw a stage. People were testifying. People were testifying. I saw Papa standing. I was standing to look. Do you know? Papa was very angry. When I wake up, I wanted to pray. God resisted everything from me. Praise the Lord. But I want to thank God. God has saved me. Because if you disobey the voice of God, it carries punishment. A lot of people disobey and die. But I want to thank God because he has saved my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I say may his name be highly exalted. Amen. In Give God a clap of offering. Christ, Give God a, a, a clap of offering. Make sure you obey God unconditionally for your miracle to be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Brother Wisdom. Ite here, brother wisdom. Ite, please go straight to the point, summarize it. Praise God, hallelujah! Please, I'm here to thank God for what God has done for me. Firstly, my name is Ite Wisdom. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Amen. One, hallelujah. And also thank daddy and mommy for standing in the cup for us. And I pray that God continue to strengthen them for us in Jesus' name. Amen. And also use this opportunity to wish daddy happy birthday. Happy birthday, daddy. Hallelujah. Again, my testimony is I, I remember a day I went to daddy. And I asked daddy a question. And that question was that, yes, I'm from a royal family. But why is it that, that this part of royal family that I'm from is them rigid? That is, others are flowing well, but this other one, it seems nobody is doing anything. School, nobody, no way, you cannot even. And, I've, and I remember what daddy told me. That is why you are sent to that family. 
and I held on that word. And my school was struggling and everything, but I thank God that he made a way for me that I finish my schooling. Although um, when it got to that time, they said I don't have to graduate. It's either I, uh, I have to step out of school or if I've, I further, I become mad. But I thank God for the backing of this commission that God has been there for me. Again, I went for service last year and I returned back. God has done wonderfully well. Hallelujah. I'm telling you this because the place I was sent to, I was sent to Anambra State. And the part of Anambra State that I went around us was this side, native doctor, this side, diabolic, this side. But I remember when I wake up to pray, sometimes I will call the name of my father and then I say, I say, and say, and say the God of my father. And someone will be shouting, fire, 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 and run inside the house. I thank God because of the backing of this commission. Now to run it off, off is that yesterday, um, yesterday I was called in the, in the morning that I should join to go and pray. Now in a, a company that is to open for this year. Now when I step in there after the prayer to open the company for this year, and I heard the man told me that I called you here to give you an appointment. Hallelujah. <laughs> I call you to give you an appointment as the administrative manager. Hallelujah. So, I've come to return all the glory to God. I know very well that this is a stepping stone for greatness because a journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. I thank God because I don't deserve this. I thank God for my father because of the backing of this commission. God had answered it and God has been there for me. So I say may his name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. A clap offering unto the Lord. If you look at him very well. You know, those of us who are lecturers, he looked like a one student. <laughs> but he's a graduate. That is what grace of our father can do. Hallelujah. And if nobody is doing, is not doing well in your family, you are the next to do well. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are many that they will tell you something to transfer spirit of fear but one thing about our father if you work with him you cannot know anything that has to do with fear so based on the anointing of our father I banish the spirit of fear upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus the next is Mrs. Ndubisi is Mrs. Ndubisi here for the testimony? Gone on holidays. Hallelujah. Madam. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be brief. Hallelujah. Amen. I have two testimonies, though I will be very brief. Please. The first one is about the, the donation that our daddy was calling here yesterday. He started from 50,000 to 20,000, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, and the list was 500 Naira. And it, right inside my bag, I was only with 600 Naira. That was to be my transport. I will use and pay back home with my children. I just took a step. I said, no, no, any high it is, we will go home. And I picked the 500 Naira, which was the least money he called. And as I came out, luckily for us, daddy was called to pray. And immediately I just heard daddy being praying for us. I was like, ah, daddy's prayer is always a wait and take up. Brethren, I just want to encourage somebody because he's working. He's really working. Around 4 o'clock today, somebody called and said, send your account details. And I did. Hallelujah. 10,000 naira. 500 naira multiplied 10,000 naira. Amen. I am here to give God the glory. The second one is this. On Saturday, the God of our father, this awesomely awesome God, delivered my husband from 
a very big snake. Church, this was the snake that my husband killed on Saturday. They say that this is called a copra or a demon, I don't know. Right in front of our compound while he was coming back from work. We, we were not at home, me and my children and my sister, we went out. As God may have it, my husband came back home very early that day. Around 8 o'clock in the night. And as he just pointed the light, the thing was there in front of our compound. My husband was turning around the compound looking for a way to kill the snake. It was only two stones that children from another compound used in playing ball in front of our compound that my husband used. God used it as a stone that David used to kill the Goliath and he was able to kill the snake. And I remember during the convention that he prayed for us and said we will not mourn over our loved ones. I am here to say God thank you and to say thank you Daddy and mommy for all your prayers for us. Hallelujah. May God continue to keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. A clap offering unto the Lord. When you sow seeds on a fertile ground, you are guaranteed more than 1,000 times increase. And that seed will also be a weapon of warfare against the enemy. See, because of that seed, God delivered her from early widowhood. We could have been talking about calling her a widow. But God changed her story. You are the next. But you must key in and also sow a seed. Eh? Don't look at that money. Eh? When you eat what you can and have what you can, you know the story now. The last but not the least is Priscilla Famous. They wrote Mister, but I know Priscilla must be a woman. That's why I put Mrs. Priscilla Famous. Hallelujah. Okay, I know it must be a woman. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mommy and Daddy, we love you so much. I'm Priscilla. This is Mr. Mr. Famous. Okay. We, we met in school. That's theology school here. That was the place I met my husband. Hallelujah! <laughs> so, I, we finished, I finished October 222. 222. So, when I met him, He's a good man. Hallelujah. But the problem there is this. He doesn't have money. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but he's a good, nice man. Every woman's dream. So, my parents stays in Abba. He stays in Abba too. So, around November, he told me that he wants to marry me. I now asked him, how can you marry me? You don't have anything with you. In his account, he had only 1,815 error. Times 1,000. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, I now asked him, how do you want to marry? He said, I want to marry you. So, one morning he came to our house. I told him that my father would not like him. Because he was lean then. My mom now saw him and said... I like him. I told my mom that he's lanky. My mom said he will have flesh. So, <laughs> so, a good woman. He now said that he came with he came with St. Remy and uh, he came with 10,000 naira that my father should go and get list for him because I'm from Abia State, Arochuku. My father now collected the money. Two days later, my father came back from the village with the list, marriage list, traditional marriage list. When he looked at the list, he started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Miraculous marriage. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> so he started crying. I was telling him that I'm the first child of my parents. You don't expect me to follow you for credit. Go and look for money. So, as God may have it, he said to me that he lost his father when he was eight. 
that Papuma has been his father. So that day, we, we, my father now told him that my people said that he should come on 25th December for my marriage. He went and printed his card. He had nothing. I told him that God told me that I should go and feed prison. Prison yard people at Taba. He said he would go with me. So we went. I was cooking the food. He was helping me. Our card, the invitation was out. But the person that wants to marry had nothing with him. As God may have it, he, when we went to market, he was telling me, buy small, small things for the prisoners. I said, no, I will make this food that anybody that will eat this food must have reason to appreciate God. I bought a uh, cow head, plenty. I made the soup that I took it to prison yard. What does there? They were taking food from it. They said, this one is special among God, the ones that they used to bring. That day when we came back, one of my relatives now called me, Priscilla. I said, sir, I said, do you want to marry this man? I said, yes. He said, bring the list. How much is inside? So, when he asked the question, he was, I don't know, he was afraid to tell the man he now told the man, one million naira. First day, the next day, around eight, one million entered his account. Hallelujah. Is that how you shout? So, when that one million entered, he started crying. He told me that this is the first time that a million is entering my account. So, within two weeks for our marriage to hold, because we did traditional marriage on 25th and wedded on 26th, within that day, we were able to get more than two million. Hallelujah. As God may have it, last year, Seven months after our marriage, somebody gave us a car. Hallelujah. So, God has been faithful. We've come to say thank God for all he has done for us. Hallelujah. Husband, talk now. You must talk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank so much this God of our commission. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. God has been so faithful. All the students of Mobile School of Theology, I need a shout. When God told me that when I come to this school, as I'm going out, that I will not go empty, I used to say it, and my classmates would be laughing. I told them that I came empty, and I will not go empty. Hallelujah. They are laughing, but. To the glory of God, God made it possible. He, the one who surprised me was two days to that event. I was crying in my parlor. Uh, even before that event, we live in one room, me and my mother and my siblings. We don't have any money. But this awesome, awesome God. Within a week, somebody paid for flat for us. Hallelujah. I, I was just crying that I saw our father in the Lord in the dream. He told me that that building must surely be completed. And it was that statement that I wake up that that money dropped in my account. And it was the end. And it was the beginning of the whole thing. And since then, my life has never remained the same. God Hallelujah! All the bachelors in the house I need a seat faith. If you are tired of being a bachelor, do something. Do something. Hallelujah. You see, our father, father's anointing can change you from nothing to something. Don't wait until you see with your eyes. He saw and he believed and he went for it. 
I am proud of them. They were my students. They graduated from that school. And uh, that lady is a miracle lady. There was a time, you know her testimony, when she was seriously sick. And that young man used to assist her without even knowing that she would let her be his wife. In fact, everybody will abandon her, but the young man will always be there. Even I used to ask him, why are you behaving like this? But I never knew that God had something, something special. Hallelujah. You are the next. So if you, are, if you want to tap miracle, come and register in Omok by School of Theology. Yes, you need to register. In fact, if you register between now and 20th of this month, I will give you 50% discount of the form. Just buy form. I use my office as the rector and give you what? 50% of the form. If the form is one naira, you pay 50 kobo. Hallelujah. Rush. Why? You know, you know, when the anointing of our father taught you, he can also give you scholarship. Hallelujah. I see God doing wonders for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, the owner of this car, WRN76MY, Camry Car, should please go and repack. Your attention is needed by the security unit. Please, WRN. You know, if you're a woman, they don't know the number of their car. They're supposed to give me the color. Women, they drive car, they don't know the number. But it's Camry car. So if you are driving a Camry car and you're a woman, go and check whether your own is part of it. But if you're a man, it's WRN76MY Camry. God bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. I know you have a testimony. I want you to rise and give God praise for all the testimony that you have received. Just give God a wave offering. It's a glorious God. It's a glorious God. You will have a testimony that the whole world will celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your seats. Please, this is a special announcement. This is to inform all zonal leaders and zones that programs and activities begins in earnest in all the zones. Prayer cells in the commission from Thursday, 11th of January 2024. So if you don't have a zone, please contact our brother uh, Pastor Fon he will Fon Akbakman, he will you will tell him where you are living so that he will direct you to the zone where you belong it will be wrong for you to be coming to this commission without belonging to a zone God bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus please with clap innovation help me welcome the classical choir to come and do what they know what to do best. Hallelujah. Continue to clap.
please appreciate him with a clapping ovation. Hallelujah. Please. This is a special announcement from the prayer band that coming Sunday, both new and old members are welcome at this auditorium by 4 p.m. for a prayer section. I know that you will enjoy the section and miracle will be released to you in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. It's signed by the leader, Pastor Kosi Opera. God bless you. I want to welcome our brother, Reverend Opowuro, to come and do the next item. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are excited to be here, shout hallelujah. Amen. Tonight is a very special night. And I'd like to welcome everyone to this meeting. First of all, let me welcome all those that are watching and have joined us across the world to this meeting. This is the best way to begin a year. And I can tell you, if you have been with us the past two days, you know that there has been a dimension of God in these meetings. And those dimensions will be your portion throughout this year. Somebody shout Amen. Tonight, I'd like to especially, we have some very important people that have come to worship with us tonight. And first of all, I'd like to welcome my senior brother, Prelate Isaiah Isong. Church, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you clap, clap. It's not always you have these people come to meetings like this. You are welcome, sir. And next after that, we have Archbishop Udeme Simon. That one is my covenant brother. Praise the Lord. We are in for a good time. Our life shall never remain the same. Get set for unique settlement. Somebody shout hallelujah. We also had Archbishop elect Uyota Kingsley, who came in also with them. Can you greet the church, sir? Praise the Lord. Because we've started well, there shall be no loss this year. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. But I will not fail to recognize some people that traveled all the way and have been with us from the beginning of this program. Please permit me to just recognize them and just wave from where you are. Apostle Blessing and Pastor Chigozie Banigo from Port Harcourt. Bishop and Pastor Mrs. Yusuf Dampossible from Gariki Abuja. Apostle and Pastor Mrs. Vincent Onye from Port Harcourt. Reverend Chima Obi, Senior Pastor of Redeem Redemption Church, Enugu. Where we always have Pastor Daniel Emedion, who is also worshiping with us tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. Very quickly, please, if you are a pastor and tonight is your first time. Oh, oh. Ah, Reverend, watch you go. Please, sir. We, we all, I'm sure you all know him. Reverend Machuku, clap now. Sir, you did not come yesterday. Please greet the church. Greet the church. You didn't come yesterday. 
He can praise the Lord. Okay, I didn't see. Praise the Lord. If you are a pastor, and tonight is your first time of worshiping with us, please can you rise up on your feet? If you are a pastor, and tonight is your first time of worshiping with us, can you rise up on your feet? Please let us clap. Praise the Lord. Now listen very quickly. Don't sit. I have a reason of calling you up as a pastor. My, my experience with daddy is that technically all the testimonies I've heard from pastors that have connected with this, with this moving altar has been that every time they connect with him, their ministries never be the same. There's an extrapolation. There's an increase. There's an enlargement. I want you to know that God brought you specially to bring a turnaround in your ministry. So, stay with that and know very well that because you came, no matter how bad things were with you, so long as you were able to cross that gate and came through this door, your ministry will never be the same again. So we welcome you heartily and I want you to know that God that brought you will make sure that you come back and give us a testimony of what God has done in your ministry. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are from the northern part, any part of the north, please sit down. In this country, please can you rise, in, rise up on your feet? If you are from any part in the north of this country, you are in this meeting. Is there any other person? No, I know, I know pastor. Is there any other person? Okay. Please, sir, you are welcome. You are a pastor or a bishop. Which part of the north you came from, sir? Did you come from? Abuja. Wow. Somebody shout hallelujah. What's your name, sir? Eh? Chuk Christopher. Let us make welcome evangelist Chuk Christopher. You see, why I'm doing that is that I, I, I have a special place for people that honor our father. And when programs like this happen, they leave their places far away, especially ministers, and come here. And that's why when I saw the archbishops and the prelates coming, I was very excited. So this meeting tonight is going to take a U-turn. If you are also here for the first time, you are, not, you are from any other part of this country, please rise up on your feet. If tonight is your first time, we want to welcome you. Yes? Tonight is your first time. Tonight is your first time. Now, let me tell you something you don't know. We've had cases, in fact, there's a particular case of a man that spent 850000 in the teaching hospital. For two weeks, he was in the teaching hospital. He was not well. The, 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 the position did not change. But, please listen. Leave those things. You will read them later. Just listen to me. Because there's a unique reason God brought you here. And you may not realize that while you are sitting here, your problem is already over. Somebody told the wife that there's a prayer meeting here. That if they brought him, he will be well. They took permission from the teaching hospital, not a private hospital, teaching hospital. And they came here. Immediately that man dropped in the compound. He did not enter this hall. He's a barrister, he's a lawyer. He gave a testimony here. He was, in fact, he started sweating immediately and he got healed before he entered this hall. I'm saying that to say this. That because whatever pursued you allowed you to cross that gate and come into this house, into this building, everything that made you to come, God has taken care of it. And this does not only go for people that are coming for the first time. Maybe before your faith was not big enough. Tonight, that you came through and you are in this hall, God has dealt with your issue. Thank you for coming. Fill those forms correctly and give, return them to the ushers. God bless you.
Hallelujah. At this altar, everything is possible. If you believe, but if you are connected to our Father, whether you believe it or not, everything is possible. Hallelujah. Please, with a clap innovation, I want you to welcome our brother to come and take the next item, Pastor Kosi Okpara. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 